Hey guys, good morning. It's second half of week three of my keto diet. It's 6.44, June 19th. Um, it's Wednesday morning. I'm on my way to work. And guys, I should be on time. I'm about halfway there and it's 6.44 and that's normally what I'm about when I'm getting on the interstate. So, um, today for lunch, I have my, um, more of the hamburger meat I made last night with some cheese on it and I brought some pickles and mustard and mayo to drizzle on it and I'll eat that for lunch and then I also have a couple cheese sticks I have some pork rinds um and also a little bit I throw in there I did throw in my sugar free jello because I get sweet tooth today at work um so I did throw in my whipped cream like my can whipped cream like on my boobs but it's because of my boobs but like looking at myself in the mirror I feel like my stomach's getting smaller I feel like the fat rolls on my sides are getting smaller I don't know but I haven't wore anything like necessarily regular clothes wise because Sunday I had a dress on yes Monday I had on what did I wear Monday pajamas and a swimsuit and workout leggings. And of course it's going to start raining out, you know, when I'm on my store. And then yesterday I had on scrubs, workout leggings, and pajamas, and today I've got scrubs on again. So maybe tomorrow I'll try on a pair of my shorts or something and see how they feel. But that I know are a little tight and here from there. But I feel like, I mean, when I look at myself in the mirror, I feel like I'm seeing the difference. And like my scale, guys, I'm not even lying. It has excuse me, never stayed at the same number like it has the last few days. Never. It always goes, it's always up or down, up or down, at least a little bit. Every day. And I weigh myself first thing when I get up, you know, after I've used potty and buck naked. I don't wear a stitch of clothes. I don't wear socks or nothing. I just, you know, weigh myself buck naked. And I'll weigh myself three times in a row. The first weight, because a lot of times I feel like on my scale, the first weight is weird. I don't know, like it's just off. And then like the last, the last two weights are the same. So, but like every weight has been 206.4 for the last at least three days. I think four days. And I know like that wish effect is going to happen. I really wish it would happen sooner than later because I have a doctor's appointment next week and I really want my weight to be almost at 200 by then, but I don't think I'm going to lose 6 pounds between now and uh, Monday. Well, you know, I guess you never know. Um, I worked today 
being off tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I may tomorrow go to the pool if it's pretty. I feel like it's not going to be pretty because all it wants to do in West Virginia right now is a rain. I'm so tired of rain. And I hate saying that because I know there's so many people out there that are like begging for rain where they live. So I hate to say I hate the rain, but I do hate the rain. I'm tired of it. And if I could send you guys some rain, I would in a heartbeat. Like, I would. I really would. Because it's getting on my nerves. It's summer now. I want to spend some time at the pool. I want to get a tan. You know, I want to enjoy my summer. And poor Chris, like, I know he is stressed about all this dying on rain, too, because, like, he needs to work on the farm <laughs> and put up hay and all that stuff and it's hard when it rains constantly for him to do that because he only has a couple days a week to do it so yeah ooh, 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 ooh. All right, i just dropped the interstate so i'm going to miss to work and it's Tyndall six guys Ten, or Tyndall seven guys like the girls at work today are going to be like in shock <laughs> i'm here this early need to start getting to work earlier anyhow it did help that i prepped my lunch last night like i had to grab a few things this morning but for the most part i prepped all my lunch last night which helped a lot today and the kids weren't up that always helps too the kids aren't up they are so funny last night they or yesterday let me show here they fought all day yesterday off and on but then last night when it was time to go to bed, we want to sleep together. We want to have a baby night. So I was like, fine. They were just insistent, you know, on this having a movie night. So I was like, fine. But when the TV goes off, it's time to go to sleep. But you're not asleep yet. I want you to sleep. So they watched like the Teen Titans Go movie. And then um, I set the alarm on the TV. Or not the alarm, but the sleep timer on the TV. To go off after two hours no one in that movie probably wouldn't be that long but that if it you know when it went off if Keenan got fair Parker would go right to sleep because normally once his head hits the pillow he was, he's out once he quits talking but Keenan he is the one who won't go to sleep as quick and I think I was thinking to myself that if the TV is still on and that light from the TV is still on then maybe at least he'll um go to sleep you know like once the movie goes off if he's still awake and the movie goes off and the tv goes off right when the movie does then he's more likely to come into my room and be like mommy i can't sleep i want to watch more tv blah 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 blah, blah. so that's why i did that <laughs> i had there was a rhyme behind my madness yesterday night so i don't know how long they'll sleep in today but hopefully for a little while at least they slept in yesterday till about eight almost 9 o'clock they were up before I left last yesterday for work I'm trying to remember what time I I think they called me at 8.30 for work they, had, yeah, they called me at 8.30 sorry guys I was more around her they called me at 8.30 to go to work and I'm wanting to say that they slept it was like 9 o'clock when they got up I even a little bit later than that because I think Keenan I remember if Keenan got up with my mom and my stepdad were there or not. And you remember. Well, I guess it's on one time I should probably park where I'm supposed to. What do you guys think? I think I will actually park where I'm supposed to. And be a good little girl. And park on the bottom since I'm on time today. Be a good little role model. Alright guys. I'm at work. Hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and comment if you haven't already. And join me on this journey to skinniness and healthiness from fluffy to healthy, right? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys shortly. Hey, guys. It is 8.26 in the evening. I am just getting off home from work. I'm going to make me something to eat. I'm going to make some cauliflower buffalo cauliflower and what I do is even though I think this is the same bag yeah even though this is like one of the steam bags this is actually from Aldi 
I've been putting it in my micro cooker from Pampered Chef. I think that's what it's called. With just throwing butter everywhere. A couple tablespoons of butter. And Frank's red hot sauce and then stirring it in the microwave on the vegetable setting. I've done this once and it was so good. Like it was really good. I was really impressed with how good it was. So we're going to do it again tonight. I can get the paper off the butter. So just like two tablespoons of butter. And a bunch of Frank's Red Hot. Or whatever your preferred hot sauce is. I'm going to put more. There we go. See? Put the lid on. And pop it in the microwave. For whatever my vegetable setting is on my microwave. Because I don't know what it is. Let that cook. And then it'll be done. And ready to go. Got hot sauce all over the counter now. Lordy be, people. So I can just say, like, today was, like, the longest day ever at work. Like, it was just super long today. Like, I don't know why. Because we were actually, you know, pretty busy. I mean, we were busy. With the missions and transfers. And... I don't think we got any transfers. We transferred people out, but we didn't get any transfers within the hospital. We did get a couple of admits from the ER, though. And it just was busy. Like at 1130, me and the nurse externs looked at each other and we we're like, is it really only 1130? Like everybody was feeling like it should have been like 230, 330. It was 1130. So today just went by really slow. I'm home though. I'm going to fix me something. Eat this after it's done. Got all these scrubs. I did stop at Kroger's when I got home. And I bought some of this low cal light ice cream it's 240 calories per pint it's been chocolate chip the carbsness is 12 grams with three of fiber so that's what nine and then five sugar alcohols so um and it's half a cup there's four servings in here so i'm gonna try to eat maybe half of it tonight because i don't know if i can do just half a cup we'll see And we'll try to eat that some tonight. I'm just hungry, guys. I'm hungry and I'm really craving something sweet. Oh, the other thing I'll put on this when it comes out is melt shredded cheese, like a melted on there. So good. So good. I'm loving how I'm finding these awesome little teeny tiny simple things for me to fix for my meals. Because I'm a simple kind of girl. I don't need anything fancy meals. I mean, yeah, I'll eat them. They're good. But I don't need a bunch of fancy feet, you know, things to eat. So I'm upstairs. I'm going to get out of these nasty old scrums. Look how nice and neat my bed looks. My mom was here. <laughs> but I'm going to get out of these nasty old scrubs, put on some PJs, and eat. And then probably go to bed. I don't have to work tomorrow, thankfully. So I'm going to sleep in. I'm tired. Slept horrible last night. Had crazy dreams and just slept bad. So I'm going to relax this evening and sleep in tomorrow because the kids are with their dad. So, but um, yeah, I guess that's it for right now, guys. I will check back in with you guys tonight Good or tomorrow. Good morning. It is June 21st, Friday, um, 6:44. I'm on my way to work. I actually am like mess or video in this a little. Bit um, farther ahead on my journey of work than what I normally do. 
Um, which is fine. But I need to apologize to you guys. I did not record anything yesterday. No particular reason other than I was being lazy and I just didn't. I laid around all day yesterday and did absolutely nothing. I didn't do a thing. I didn't even get a shower yesterday. Um, I just didn't feel like it. I don't know what my deal was. I mean, like, I didn't, it wasn't that I felt bad or anything. I was kind of depressed, like, on the, um, what's the word I want? Like, on the downside. Like, I just didn't feel good. Or not feel good. I just didn't feel peppy, peppy, you know? And, like, I don't know. You know how you just have those days where you just want to, like, uh, he is for blood. That's kind of how it was yesterday. But anyway, I laid around all day yesterday and watched this TV show on Netflix called Slasher. Um, it reminded me of the old school 80s, or not 80s, but 90s, you know, horror movies like American, not shoot, um, Scream, I Know What You Did Last Summer, that kind of stuff. And they were, it was really good. I, like, I really liked it. Um, as Tori um, Spelling's husband was in the season three, which was actually the first season I watched last night. And I know, like, you're like, why did you watch season three first? It's like American Horror Story. All, all, every season is different. But if you guys have watched, just on the cliff note here, if you guys have watched American Horror Story recently, like, they actually have tied in a couple of their seasons, if you watch it. And I'm excited for this next one to come out coming out, I think, in the fall. But anyhow, um, I, um, watched, watched all season three and watched probably almost half of season two last night, um, or yesterday and, and last night. Went to bed last night and was, like, burning up. Like, I just could not get cooled down. So I turned on my air conditioner, or not my air conditioner, I'm sorry. <laughs> I opened up my window in my bedroom and um, just could not get cooled down. And then finally, um, when I woke up this morning, freezing. Freezing, yeah, it's freezing. But it's okay. Um, I, um, so yesterday I ate low, did my keto, you know. I seriously had some major, um, Carb cravings yesterday. It was like Tiffany, you're home alone. Nobody would know. Nobody would know. Well, you would know, Tiffany, and you're not losing. You're staying the same, and like, don't do it. Like, just don't do it. And so I didn't do it for lunch. I had yesterday for lunch. Uh, yesterday for lunch, I had uh, the rest of the hamburger meat I had made the other day for that cheeseburger, hamburger salad thing. And had that with some little cheese, pickles, mayonnaise, mustard, and a couple cheese slices, like stick cheese. And then um, for dinner, I had the chili and lime turkey or chicken burgers from. Trader Joe's, they were okay. Like, they weren't anything to write home about. Like, I don't think I would get them again. I mean, I would ate all four of them, but I left that two extra ones I didn't eat last night on out overnight, so I didn't, didn't feel safe eating them for today, or bringing them today for lunch, so, because that was my plan, but that's all right. No big deal. Um, and some buffalo cauliflower. So, let me just tell you guys this there. So, I've bought the Buffalo Cauliflower from Bird's Eye several times over the years and thought, man, this stuff is really good. I tell you what, it ain't nothing compared to how I fixed my Buffalo Cauliflower in my micro-tail, micro-tail, <laughs> micro-cooker, I think is what it's called for, from um, Pampered Chef in the microwave when I just put in a bag of frozen cauliflower, two tablespoons of butter, and some hot sauce. Yeah, that stuff is great. The stuff that birds I has is not as good. It's like, I think the total five carbs per serving. 
and I'll normally eat a whole bag even before I was doing the carb and so that's like 20 carbs right there but I'm guessing it's probably from the buffalo sauce and then maybe some from the cauliflower I don't know but I ate that and I ate the rest of that ice cream I bought on Wednesday after work which I'm not like it was okay um it's not something I don't know like I think I would buy it again but I think I like the halo top better yeah I think I like the halo top better like the mint chocolate so I don't know really wish we'd get the rebel ice cream here in West Virginia really wish I even googled like went to the rebel website and put in like my area code not my area code but my zip code and yeah no work place now there was a form to print off to where I could request them I didn't. I should have, but I didn't. It's all right, though. Um, so, yeah. So, today for lunch, though, I have um, some tuna fish. I have some more of a buffalo cauliflower because I don't have anything really cooked right now. And I really, I don't have, I have lettuce in there. I guess I could make myself a salad. I don't know. But I was kind of running late and I wanted to um, quick and easy. So, I just have like two tuna fish packets. <clears throat> and then if this is like the flavor tuna fish some cheese sticks and um, some pork rinds oh and the cauliflower like I brought more another bag of the buffalo cauliflower I'm trying to eat one I have in the house like vegetable ones before I and like everything was, <laughs> before I go buy a bunch more stuff at the store I am going to go to the store tomorrow not tomorrow, tomorrow. It just depends on my staffing and how if I have to work tomorrow or not. But I do need to go to the store sometime here in the next few days um, to get a few things. Actually, I have a big list of things. The boys are going to be home for like the next two weeks start tomorrow. So I need to make sure I have enough stuff for um, them to eat on. to replenish some of my stuff so today yesterday actually my weight was 207 I had been 206.4 for four days in a row and yesterday I was 207 I was like and I think that's one of the reasons why I was kind of just like blah yesterday I mean it wasn't a big jump but I was like I'm not losing I was just getting kind of aggravated and thought you know this carb low carb keto is not working I might as well go ahead and eat the carbs because it's not working you know type deal and um instead though but I did that yesterday like I told you guys I think I told you guys I didn't have I had horrible cravings yesterday I did not eat anything I shouldn't eat yesterday but I did um this morning when I weighed myself I was two four point six so it's went down even more um people are like slow mode today it's friday people what's going on anyway i'm almost work 6 53 not on time but not late either <laughs> no, i'll probably be in there i'll get there right at seven probably be my guess bait and whether to park where I'm supposed to or where, I'm, where we always park because we're all rebels I actually park where I'm supposed to because like you have to take stairs and it's a little bit longer walk and just to burn a few extra calories you know Do that. I don't know. <sighs> Alright guys. 204.6. 204.6. Could be better. Could be worse. That's almost two pounds down from when I stayed up for four days in a row. It's working. It's working. It's just, you know, 
got to trust the process. I was talking to this guy I work with. Him and his boyfriend have been doing, you know, keto for a while now. And they've both lost around like 30, 40 pounds each. And um, I think 30 pounds at 30 pounds each. So I think they have 40 pounds to lose. But anyhow, um, he was giving me all kinds of recommendations on of stuff to get like at my favorite Mexican restaurant. They go there a lot too. Um, what to get there, what to get, like what kind of alcoholic drinks to get, you know, um, that type of thing. So I'm super excited about that. Um, the one thing he was talking about getting at my, or like the Mexican restaurant I really like to go to, it was grilled chicken with cheese sauce and chorizo on top. You know, like the chorizo sausage, however you say it. And um, I thought, oh, maybe I can talk Chris and then go to Mexico tonight. We went, we went, well, we went for my birthday, so I think the last time we went. Last time I went was for Parker's birthday. That was the for Mexican restaurant. So we may do Mexican tonight, and I'm gonna get that. I don't know. We'll see. Do I park up top? Or do I park on the bottom? What do I do? I'm gonna park on the bottom and be a good girl. I'm going to be a good girl tonight. Or this morning. How about that? How about them apples? I'm being a good girl. I'm never a good girl in park where I'm supposed to. I'm trying to be a good role model for my nurses, for my staff. <laughs> Alright, guys. Alright, girls. I'm out here. Yeah, it's 656. By the time I get walked up there, it will be 7 o'clock. See you soon. Hi, guys. It's Saturday and it's 2.30. It's June 23rd, I think. Heck, I don't know. It's June and it's Saturday. <laughs> um, we have been to Walmart today and we spent a ton of money. I have posted that video. Um, I would have posted it today, so you guys, it sh should be up before this one, because this I'll put this out tomorrow. And, um, spent way too much money at Walmart, really did, but I, it was a lot of stuff I needed, a lot of stuff I didn't need. Um, I mean, I probably had a good almost $200 in extra type stuff. Like I got a cake for Parker's birthday tomorrow. I got stuff for his birthday party tomorrow. I got a pair of goggles and a snorkel for Parker. I got, um, I said, and I, then I had to get like a bunch of extra, like, like condiments, you know, and stuff. I got a bunch of condiments. Um, I also had to get a bunch of like beauty stuff too. So it was just I had a bunch of stuff to buy expensive stuff to buy it is what it is but i'm gonna eat i'm getting ready to eat my leftovers from mexican last night and then what say what i need to finish getting this kitchen cleaned up and everything put away and then um we're gonna my ex-sister will spend the night with us tonight she will be here shortly careful though she will be here shortly about half an hour hour or something here's captain america we have a, the same one as this, only we don't know where it is, so we got this one from Mama That's today. One. From Mama? Who bought that for you? The first one Mama bought us, this one, I found it, and there's a bunch of them, and I just got this one. We have a Hulk. We don't know where it is. It's like this. We have a Spider-Man and Iron Man one. This is a Black Widow one, but we don't have that one. It's weird. I have seen that. We don't have a Black Widow one. Oh, I've never seen one before. I have. Of the boxes, there's always a Black Widow. Oh. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. No, and no. the vlog for today. Oh, I'm sorry. Keenan wants to say hi. Ow. Captain America did not survive his fall. Wasted. Something on my shirt. Captain America just got wasted. But I'm going to go ahead and eat and up the vlog today. Get my grub one <laughs> and straighten the rest of the kitchen and i did want to clean the bathrooms and stuff so maybe chrissy can help me keep the kids occupied while i'm doing that here in a little bit 
Thanks guys for watching. If you haven't already, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Oh, my weight today. I have a happy birthday, baby. And it my, has cartoon adventure. My weight was two oh, back cake? up to 206 from 204 yesterday. Did you have a cake? Mm-hmm. And um I, I just these. That's why I wanted these. No, those are for movie night tonight. Those are oh, kings right. too. But um I, I had beer last juice. night, so it is what it is. Um but I mean I feel good. I'm not gonna be quitting this anytime soon. I got a bunch of Halo top today for sure. <laughs> but that's okay too. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get off here. I don't really feel like talking and they need some attention. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye.